welcome back. Um, so, uh, it would seem that uh, Lonnie and Sam have something a bit more than friendship. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. And uh, we are still exploring upstairs. Um, let's see. Performance evaluation. Uh, oh, okay, so... Ranger Rick, I guess, is this, this is who... Oh, okay, so... <laughs> Ranger Pattermatch has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and ex execution. I believe his ex expertise and um, dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's comp contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit as, oh, outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Yeah, Janice, it's just because you like him. Let's not deny that. What else we got uh, going on around here? Oh, okay, what's this? Halloween show. Don't forget your costume. The Misfits. They're awesome. St okay, Stygian, Stygian Lounge, 1029, 9 p.m., 306 West Franklin, downtown. See you there, L. So, okay. Oh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving so. together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. That's sweet. Alright, so I don't know how I feel about the bands that you guys listen to. I'm talking about Lonnie and uh, and Kate, er, sorry, Lonnie and Sam. Not you guys. I'm sure you guys listen to awesome bands because they're not from the 90s. I think. I don't know. I don't know what you guys do. But, ah! It's a cat. Ah. But between Heaven's to Betsy is empty... Um, but the, uh, things that these two are listening to, I'm not quite into. Okay, first we're going to look at this. Healthy choices, skills for a healthful life. Yeah, no. And this one. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh, okay, so here's an update to the map. Oh, it's closet to library. Okay. Um. Oh my God, I have, I have got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Okay, we will definitely go there. Whoa. Oh. Uh, Captain Allegra and the first mate. Nice. Uh, your costume, my costume. L. That's cute. She liked her stories. These are very good. For, you know, not being professional and stuff, so. Onward! We are going to probably go to that secret passage because I don't think there's anything else here for us. Sounds like somebody's walking. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Damn. Oh, have we... Have we found any codes for those other things yet, by the way? We have to find them. Okay, so... Let's, uh, let's go back into 
Sam's room to find Nope, that wasn't it. Oh, what? <sighs> Aha! Samantha Greenbrier. Uh, shop one. Metal working en engraving. C minus. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names... I did not mean just add them underneath. <laughs> oh, okay, so she did the portrait downstairs. Okay. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. Well, geez, you don't have to be so harsh. It's not an easy... What do we got here? The brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Let's try a 1965. Oops. Nope. God, okay. I'm sorry if this takes me a long time. I'm not the best at finding out these things. No, it has to be more obvious than that. I'm thinking too, too deeply. Such a deep person. Let's be on something that she wrote. What do we got here? Oh, I missed. Did I miss this? No, I didn't. What? <sighs> Crap. Let's try eighteen eighty-eight. Also, why does she have a locker in her room? Dang. I put stickers on everything, too, when I was younger. Hmm. <sighs> okay, there's something obvious that I must be missing. It's in our journals. Oh. Uh, student name Yolanda DeSoto. Oh, Lonnie. Okay. Uh, grade 12. Okay. Uh, act uh, factual description of incident. Mr. Bench Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto, DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. 
Um, action taken by faculty. Mrs. Soto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Mrs. Soto chose suspension. Uh, her father was called, but there was no answer and no and no answering machine. Mr. Soto must return this form. Um, this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Okay, so there was no parent signature. Ugh, too many numbers. Would you get down, cat? Get down. Ugh. God. Uh, okay. Well, I thought it was onto something, but I'm not. Because there's, what, four numbers that you have to put in? Yeah. I wonder if I'm missing something. What is this? Uh, I don't know. There's a fork right here. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Ugh. Maybe it's in the closet. Well, she had to have written it down somewhere. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just trying to concentrate on finding a number. It's gotta be in here! It's gotta be! It'd be silly if it isn't. gonna bug me. We gotta do the dads too. Maybe we should go try the dads for now. <sighs> okay. Oh. Is there something down there? Um, take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. Oh, she was hiding this. Have I ever been in here? The hell? Hmm. 
Okay. Um. What was that? Thought I saw something. Okay. Well, let's go back downstairs and uh, try to open the dad's uh, thing. I'm going the wrong way. No. Yes, no. No, I was going the... Whoops. Going the right way. Did I look in here? Yeah. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Blah, blah, blah. I have got to figure out what the combinations are. Went the wrong way. I'm going to turn this on, though. Wait, what's in here? Oh, it's just a... Uh, what is this? Oh, what? Oh. Itch on my hand. Uh, itch on my hand. Itch on my hand. Itch on my hand. Uh, what is this? Girl Scout? Role model? No, that's okay. Hmm. All right, here we go. Searching for Dad's stuff. I didn't notice these before. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars twinkling as if it were, oh, as if he were laying, lying on the grass in his family's yard in the in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes yes he was a long way from home but the future needed him uh, John Russell's head swam he fell he felt incredible incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours he vomited into onto his feet his bare feet he stared for a moment Spelled process wrong. Processing his sick flecked toenails. Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman. There's a bug in my face. Ah, get out of here. Blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric was strained at the seams... What, uh, to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. John Russell I'm sorry, I'm taking it from crop, uh, John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages has passed um. Okay, so his writing worsens. So something's going on with the dad. Is there anything on here with numbers? Oh, 1963? Aw. Thought that would work. Because, you know, he likes...
Nope. Oh, I didn't even look in these. Not that there's really... There isn't even anything in there. They aren't all the uh, same books, too. One of these books is probably not like the others, right? That will give us our answer. Maybe it's on his book. Come here. Nope. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, wait. What is that? Zero four five one. Okay, zero four five. There we go. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, uh attorneys in law. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Uh Okay, so this is uh this is uh from the uncle. Why is this important? Well, it does look old. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, will and testament. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. One, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Two, I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors living or dead. Three, I do, do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then I, then in a, then and in such event, the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will, this 13th day, 13th day of August, 1973. Signed, Oscar Mason. Oh, will and testament. Okay, so it's the same thing. You just wrote it. Okay, so that's, I guess, pretty important. So he should, yeah, he should have uh, locked it up. Now we have to find the code for Sam's locker. Wonder if she had a uh, written it somewhere. See anything? Let me know if you see anything. Oh guys, I forgot to start my timer timer again. Oh crap. Why do I do that? Oops. Well, we're gonna start over. Oh, <sighs> I'm an idiot. Alright, uh... 
Oh wait, the secret passage links to the library, right? Or... Wait. Right? Yeah, right? What is that? Oh goodness. Stop sinking into the floor. Oh! Um... <gasps> stop! Stop! You scared me! Stop! What time is it? It's 4.35. Uh... Uh... uh. We're gonna exit for now. It was eerie. Oops. I mean to drop that. For God so loved world, the he gave his only son. Oh, I think uh, Oscar. Well, shit. Sorry about that, I had to uh, mute my microphone. Um, my roommates came home. Oh, that's eerie. Anyway, it was uh, super spooky how that light turned off. And then we found out some other secrets. We can progress without the, uh, the code, but I would very much like to get into her locker and snoop around because that is what we do. Wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room. It's very clever. I had a danger wolf crossing sign in my, for mine, personally. But it wouldn't stay on, so I just hung it in my room. <laughs> Can this come out? It is a computer desk after all, is it not? So, yeah, it's gotta be in the room. So hers is missing the door. Why are there hinges on both sides? It's weird. Mm. Nope. It's gotta be here somewhere. Is it on any of the games, perhaps? It's somewhere. Oh, 
I wish I could jump. <laughs> I would go onto the uh, the bed. Oh, it's gotta be here somewhere. I probably already have it, I just haven't, like, tried using it <laughs> or something. Ugh! Oh, I had these too. Ugh. My god. Give me a break. It's got to be written somewhere, right? <laughs> like uh like the dad. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry and low on energy. I'm hypoglycemic, so it's That's uh why? Ah, I don't want to look at you. This is irritating. Lonnie rules. Oh boy. Oh god. We gotta find that code. God. It's around here somewhere. Okay, maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in here. There's got to be numbers or something in here. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think it's any of those. What does that do? Oh my god! What is this? 196.3, that's probably it. Mason's Pharmacy. Oh, okay. 196.3. Did I go the wrong way? No. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, it was perfect! Which way? This way. So what is this for? 196.3. That's... I like how you pick it up to look at it and then you just put it right back. <laughs> Alright, uh... 
Well, I don't want to play without recording because something could happen. So, why is it not 196.3? That it's... Uh, okay, well, let's just... Hmm. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> this is one of their hiding places, okay. That's a... Uh, that's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. That's one of the journals. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know, they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. Costumes. Skeletons and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. This is weird. Is this the basement? No. We also have to get keys to those places, by the way. Nice. This one's for you, Grossman. Had enough the great good fellow riot of ninety five heard enough kicking against the patriarchy wipers okay that's weird oh uh girl justice now. What do we got here? Kicking against the patriarchy, the grave. This one's for you, Grossman. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. No female is gonna tell me. Yeah, issue number one. Okay. <laughs> that landed awesome. What is this? Potato chips. Okay. Uh, gonna close that. Girl justice now. Okay. I'm guessing there's a tape nearby we're supposed to throw in there. What was that? I'm not going to listen to it. Oh, I don't want that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dear Miss Greenberry, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it, it does not change my mind on this matter. Um, well, or while I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact that the the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your as to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this in incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come fo forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. 
Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. All right, uh, I just want to say I know for a fact that that's not supposed to be happening yet. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, have to open that locker first. Uh, I got ahead of myself. <sighs> this has to be it. Why? One, nine, six, three. One. Why is... Oh, didn't we? Well. Hmm. Why is it doing that? God. God damn it. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm sorry I got ahead of myself before I should have. Um, it's gonna make the playthrough look less smooth. So, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, see you soon. Have a good one.